Look at the front where it says Ames real big. Okay, so I'm in Slippery Rock right now. I'm near my aunt and uncle's camp. And just before we go there, we had to stop at Giant Eagle over there. Hi, Kayla. Hi. <laughs> and I didn't know there was a Dollar Tree here, so we're going to check this one out. I got a note. Look how small the logo is on their building. It is abnormally small. <laughs> if we find it in here. like this store. All right, so we found their movies immediately and they're all organized in these boxes, which is really nice. So without further ado, let's just start looking through them. Besides the big take, there's something in there. A charger hooked up. Hmm. The Neighbor, Two Lovers, Digimon. Interesting. All right. Our band is Crisis, Ben Zeno, uh, nothing in here, Lone Ranger, Contract Killers, okay, Oop. Genesis, take this while it's homecoming, that's cool, Jillian, nothing, nothing oh definitely don't want that <laughs> my boy Jack Oop, almost fell let's see anything in here 13 minutes geez billionaire boys club nope the strike huh a bunch of these I never even heard of before Let's see, Sacrifice, Sister Code. Is that the one? Yeah, we already went through that one. Ronaldo. Noah's Ark. Huh. Where Children Play. Death Collector, I Melt With You. And there's a few over here, too. Nothing, though. Nope, nothing. Well, I'll say that was a pleasantly surprising amount of DVDs. A bunch I hadn't seen anywhere else, but not the one I'm looking for. So, just looking to see if there's any anywhere else. If not, we'll just continue. I didn't even plan on stopping at a Dollar Tree today. This was just by surprise. So, I'll take it. All right, so they didn't have it in there, but that's okay. You know how I mentioned about the small logo at the beginning, though, right before we went in? I noticed that with a Dollar General down the road, that their logo is abnormally small, too. I don't know if that's a town ordinance or anything, because Giant Eagle sign is normal. But anyway, it'll just be on to the next location. i got to run into the store and get a couple of things like chips and ground meat to make some burgers and go from there. All right, everybody. Well... Continuing on part five of the scavenger hunt for the Langoliers, I'm now in Fraser Township, and I'm near the infamous Pittsburgh Mills Mall, which is just, oh boy, what, what can I say that just describes that mall perfectly, besides hurting really, really bad, like, that, that mall is like the kid that got, like, its ass whooped at the bus stop, like, every day for an entire school year, and just, like, tr kept trying to go, and anyway, I'll do that place later. I'll do a video there in the J.C. Penny some other time. But we're here at the Dollar Tree here in Fraser Township, and we're gonna look for the Langoliers here and see if we can find it. So let's go inside where it's a little bit colder because the AC uh, needs to be charged in the car, and see if we can find it. Well, there's Dollar Tree, and they have their back to school signs up. So instead of back to school, how about back to no? <laughs> Let's 
see what we find. Crafts? I don't think it's going to be down this aisle. Normally they're not. They have a lot of picture frames though. Holy smokes. If you need a picture frame, this is the place to get it. I really hope I didn't find their only stash of DVDs here. I mean, that's all we got going on. American Wrestler. Ronaldo. I'm going to say that every time. Fedor. Entourage. Ronaldo. Ronaldo. Power Kids. Is that really it? I just have that feeling that that was it. So, <laughs> good old Pittsburgh Mills disappoints again. And I don't even just mean Dollar Tree, not the store, but I mean just up here in general. Everything around the mall is just disappointing anymore up here. Mm, nachos. Yum. <laughs> no go here but not really shocked that's kind of amusing that they had five or six dvds what did the one on the north side have one <laughs> but that's okay that's part of the fun of looking so let's go to our next location i think i might head over to verona and see what's over there okay i lied i'm not in verona i'm in lower borough and if you remember that building that was one of the first places i ever did a video on when I started doing abandoned and retail related videos. That's the JC Penny here, which uh, has been closed for numerous years. And that down there was the old Montgomery Ward, which finally got turned into a U-Haul. Whoop-dee-doo. But anyway, that's that. But we're here at that Dollar Tree to check that one out. I'm still trying to figure out what this was before it was a Dollar Tree. I never figured it out. I know it says something behind the Dollar Tree. You can see kind of the label scoring on there, but I'm just not sure what. If you guys know, please let me know in the comments. But otherwise, let's go inside and check it out. Alright, let's see. This is a large store, too. I mean, this is a pretty big store here. Ooh, I gotta look at the summer stuff real quick. I love that. I just hate how cheap these are. They tear so quickly. I'll have to look at Boscov's. Boscov's has some pretty good table covers. going to the beach in a couple of weeks so a little eerie for our annual weekend so they have the goods if i need anything yeah here's how this store looks pretty large in size i feel confident i feel very confident this had to be an old grocery store There's electronics. Well, I found some, but they all appear to be extreme wrecks in a pile of extreme wrecks. Yeah, it's a little bit of a mess here, but extreme wrecks. Incredible Story Studios. I have no idea what that is. No. Nope, nope, never heard of that one. Nope, boy, they love that one here. Extreme Rex in this pile of stuff. Nope. Nope. And no. No. All right. Stay away from the toys, Wally. Hmm. Do the search. Huh. Nothing. Cracker Jacks. Alright. No videos though. Besides the one I found. Hmm. This big store and nothing. Well, that was another case of nope, not today. <laughs> so we'll see. Um I am going to go to a couple more before I call it a day, so now I'm going to head over to Verona and see if I can find it over there. We'll see.
Okay, so I lied again. I'm still in the Lower Burrow, New Ken area. I forgot there was another Dollar Tree on my way back towards Verona, so naturally, we're stopping and checking it out. Yeah, good old Dollar Tree. Try to find the summer stuff. <laughs> oh, oh, geez, toys and party supplies. <laughs> Just walk right through it, Wally. You can do it. <laughs> All right. Mmm, food. <laughs> uh, I'm such an idiot. Candy. Ah, here we go. Cool. It's not a whole lot, but we'll see what they have. No. Doesn't look so good again. Alright. Startup.com. Okay. Death Race 2050. That actually looks interesting. I don't know if it's any good or not, though. Duck season? What the heck? Okay. Let's see what's in this one here. Stream Rex. Stan Lee. What? That's cool. That's not what I'm looking for, but that's cool though. No. Freak show. Oh. Volume 2. That's not even in... It's not even in English. Okay, so that was an import. Parenthood. No, Robocop. Did I just see Robocop? Holy smokes. <laughs> no. That's cool. But no, nothing other than that, I guess. Bam. <laughs> Bob Ross puzzle? Get out for a dollar, 300 piece. Oh, that's cool. They got different kinds too. Oh, that's sweet. I'm totally picking one of these up. I just wonder which one I want to get. I like this one, but I like the colors in this one too. Wow, that's pretty awesome. Just wonder which one I should get. Wow, that's so cool. I love the colors of the, well, that's the same one, but I love the colors of this one. That is so cool. But I also like this one with the waterfall. Hmm. That is cool. I've never seen these before. We'll put that there. Hmm. Decisions, decisions. Wow, that one's so cool, too. I really like that one, though. And that one. Hmm. I think I'm going. I think I'm getting this one for sure. I really like that one a lot. Yeah, it's a fun fact you may not have known about me. I enjoy putting puzzles together. 300 pieces, that's not too bad. That'll be a fun little thing to do on a rainy evening. I'll take it for a dollar. Pretty good. Well, that worked out. No, we didn't get what we came here looking for, but I was able to get that puzzle and I got a snack and a drink. So... We'll just go on to the next one and see. See, now that's the rewarding part about this little scavenger hunt. I never would have known that uh, Dollar Tree had these Bob Ross puzzles, and I never would have had one. And now I have one, and I can do one on a rainy night. Okay, now I'm at the one in Verona. 
And I think this will be the last stop for the day. Uh, I did this right after work. I just hopped in the car and went to a few. And there's still so many more locations around here that I could still do a couple more parts to this video series if I really wanted to. But we'll see how that goes. But anyway, let's go in and check out the Verona Dollar Tree. The good old Dollar Tree. Let's see if they have my movie. Look, there's a hand basket sitting right outside the door. <laughs> Who wants a hand basket? I'm not taking it. <laughs> okay. Let's see. Oh, I like the summer stuff, the 4th of July things. Even though that was last week now. Here's the aisle that it would normally be in the movies, but I don't see them. Nothing. Well, this one won't be a total loss. I need hamburger buns and a loaf of bread so I can uh, make burgers at home and make sandwiches for work, so... It's better than going home empty-handed. Well, how about this? This is a pleasant little surprise. And buy just packets of Velveeta cheese sauce. That's pretty cool. They got that. It says original. This one's jalapeno. I didn't even know they made a jalapeno one. I don't know if they have any others. Original, original. Yeah. Dude, that's so cool. I think I'll pick up one of each. That'll be pretty cool. I literally do not see movies in here at all. But that's not that big of a loss because I'm on my way home and this was on the way to the house. So there's always another day and another part. So thanks for watching and thanks for joining along this little adventure. Looks like we're going to a part six. All right. Thanks, everyone. I'm going to take off and uh, get home because I'm hungry. So have a good evening, everyone. Take care. Stay awesome. Have a Kmart-licious day. Bye.